Yeah. See, now this I don't get. What? A security guard. What about him? Why does he have to stand? <laughs> because he's a security guard. But I mean, look at him. He's got to be on his feet like that all day. I mean, that's brutal. I think I'm going to say something to your uncle. George, you just met him. Don't say anything to him. Aren't you concerned about the security guard? Not really. <laughs> She's not concerned about the security guard. What kind of a person is this? I'm marrying a person who doesn't care that this man has to stand here eight hours a day when he could easily be sitting. All right, George. What do you think? <laughs> Let me ask you something. When you go into a store, does it bother you that they make the security guard just stand there all day? No. <laughs> it didn't bother Susan either. That's why I'm different. I can sense the slightest human suffering. Are you sensing anything right now? <laughs> Let me just say this. It is inhumane to make a man stand on his feet in one spot for eight hours a day. Why shouldn't he have a chair? Well, what about criminal activity? He's got to be alert. Well, he can't jump out of the chair. How long does that take? Here, look at this. Here, watch. Criminals, boom, I'm up. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Maybe they offered him a chair and he turned it down. Would you get out of here? Who's going to turn down a chair? I would be very interested to know how he felt about all this. Maybe I'll have a talk with him. I know you will. Tired? <laughs> How come, uh, no chair? What? I, I couldn't help but notice that, uh, you don't have a chair. I don't need a chair. No, I, I didn't mean to imply that you did. You're obviously a very, uh, well-proportioned individual. <laughs> what, what I was just wondering is, um, have they ever offered you a chair? No. Would you like a chair? I suppose if they gave me one, I'd sit down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You would, wouldn't you? Obviously, I'd rather sit than stand, if that's what you're asking. That's exactly my point. Well, who wouldn't? As I tell you, frankly, I would like to walk in here one day and find you sitting down. <laughs> that would give me a lot of pleasure. <laughs> Only pleasure. So I spoke to the security guard. Yeah, and? Well, it was tough to get a good read, but I think if I brought him a chair, he'd sit. <laughs> So you're gonna get him a chair? Yeah, it's really just a question of what kind. Hmm. Thinking about a bar stool. Hmm. Yeah, I'd give him some hype, be able to check things out. With a back or without? Oh, I think I'd go for the back. Swivel? I suppose he could swivel. <laughs> hey, maybe one of those director's chairs. What do you think of those? I think that's kind of a pompous look. <laughs> you know, my parents used to have a kitchen chair that would have been perfect. You mean one of those vinyl things? Yes. Vinyl, yeah, mm. maybe. Excuse me, can I help you? Nope, just uh, giving the chair to the security guard. Did Mr. Ross tell you to do this? <laughs> What's your name? Evan Fain. I'm engaged to Mr. Ross's niece. I'm probably gonna be taking over this whole place someday, so if I were you, I'd stay on my good side. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't know. Innocent mistake. There you go, what do you think? Mr. Roth said this was okay? I'm his nephew, all right? Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Ha, ha, ha.